Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK right now. Today we are back on the Wilder team. As you can see, we only have 7,000 gems. That's because we did the day in the life of the faction accounts. So overall, we used a lot of the resources that the Wilders had. So we're going to go ahead and use up the ones that we did get over the last couple of days and also do the campaign push. We're in 25-12. We want to finish quite a bit of this so we can go ahead and continue to unlock the Field of Stars because we need to make some more progression and we're still looking for Saurus. So as you can see, we do have Eron here at five stars. We do not have our T2 stones at this point. So we are still with T1 stones. Uh, Namora's at four stars, so almost done as well. Like a plus 20 signature item, two stars there, two stars on Tassie, which Tassie we do want to build a lot higher. If you've seen, she's actually pretty broken right now, especially with her furniture and the amount that she can just kill pretty much entire teams, which is crazy. Solus is the one that we've been focusing on with her signature item, taking it to plus 30. Another hero that does a lot of damage. Almus, we got to plus 30. Very disappointed in his usage. He is the only plate wear that we are using. And we do also have Saurus at plus 20. Saurus is a hero that we need to build to go ahead and maximize the damage on the guild bosses as well as the Twisted Essence bosses. So continuing to build him is going to be vital for our progression. So let's go ahead and get into our summons here. We'll go ahead and pop these chests. And unfortunately, we, it looks like we're one shy, but we did get Ogi. Very nice. We need food. Right now, we do need food um, for a majority of the heroes we have on the account. And even here, if you look, we have four T1 stones for strength. We have six T1 stones for agility because the gear that we have right now is already all pretty much maxed out we just need a little bit more faction gear so by chance if we do pull faction gear we can go ahead and we can just get that gear so let's go ahead and ascend the heroes we have here which is a little bit more rare plus looks like we got another copy of ogi which is going to be perfect because we do need a couple more we have 25 regular scrolls looking at the wish list here still looking for saurus I'm still looking for Solus, Tassie, Laika, and Gorbo. So as we continue to get more heroes to five stars, we will go ahead and swap them out. Right now, Namora is at four, but we can buy Namora from the shop. That's kind of the big uh, difference right now. So let's go ahead and get into the summons here, hoping we can pull one or two copies of Saurus, because the more copies that we're pulling now, the less we're going to use diamonds in the um, summoning the choice rewards. Just looks like a couple rare cards here. We have one more summon. We're back to maximum, which there gives us our copy of Ogi. I'm hoping we'll have enough to get him to Mythic Plus, even though we don't have enough copies for him in general, and just a couple more rare cards. But if we can get him to Mythic Plus, and there he is, if we can get him to Mythic Plus, he'll do a lot more damage than he does right now just being at Mythic. All right, so we got a couple chances. We only have chances to get one. So we can only get one more copy, and then it's going to be going back to the regular summons just because it will not be worth it to continue to get the desired hero because we won't have any more chances. So I'm hoping this pull will get him, and then we can go back to our regular summons, which no possible luck. So we'll go ahead and do one more. The bags are full again. All the faction accounts I do need to go through and kind of build a lot more heroes. So I'm hoping this is going to be the pull for him. And there he is. So we got our second copy. So we just need two copies of Saurus. And we'll have him all the way to Ascended already. Which will be very, very nice. So as you can see here, we did get... There's our Saurus copies. So we got him up to Elite Plus. Um, then as far as food, because we only have we have two there, we have Ogi. See, we're still short on food. We have four Lorzen, so Lorzen has enough to get to Ascended if we had food. Um, we have four of Cirrus, as you can see. Again, that's enough to take him to food. We just need one more Elite Plus, either Ogi, Arden, or Ira, and we'll be able to take Saurus to Mythic Plus. So again, still just waiting on food. At this point, unfortunately, let's go ahead and look at the Resonating Crystal. We hit level 270 here. And it seems like with the faction accounts, they're going up a lot faster in levels than I remember on my main account when I unlocked 240. 
And look at that, we're at 271. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it seems like they're going up a lot faster than I remember on my regular account. It seemed like it took a lot more time to go ahead and get levels up, but they're already at 271. Let's go ahead and look at the Oaken Inn. I've been saving everything here to go ahead and continue expanding the room and expanding our furnitures. We do have three full summons here as well. When you look at the workshop, because this is a faction account, as you can see, I specifically put all of my faction heroes in there. The only one I think I'm gonna change is probably, I'm thinking Almus, um, just because Almus isn't a hero that we're using right now. And the reason is I wanna put in Taylene. Even though Taylene is not ascended, Taylene's furniture is very, very powerful. So actually, let me swap her out. We'll go ahead and we'll swap Lorzen out. We'll put Lorzen in there. That way, Taylene's at the end. She's the only hero we're going to be looking for because remember, we are summoning her on this account, just like all the faction accounts. Um, and her furniture is very, very powerful. So we'll go ahead and stick with our factions with the addition of Taylene in the furniture wish list. We got three full summons here, so hopefully we can pull some red furniture for Eron would be ideal. There's our first red piece, which is, of course, Taylene, because we put her in there. Um, I've gotten really lucky with Taylene's furniture, which is good because when we do get her to ascend it, I know right now, other heroes can use her furniture, even though we don't have her yet. All right, so nothing there. We did get a card. We'll go ahead and we'll use this for Wilders and Rangers because remember, we do have Laika and we do have Eron. So building up some furniture to them will be very, very helpful. All right, so even looking here, we'll always start with Eron because he is our main carry. And look at the furniture we added. Health, attack, defense, accuracy, and dodge. Very, very powerful and adding a lot of stats there. I don't think we have anything for Laika. Looks like Tassie. We do have a little bit of furniture for her. Attack, health regeneration, and crit resistance, which is good. Looks like we got a little bit for Solus and Almus. We're, we're going to wait on a little bit of haste, which is awesome. And we'll go ahead. I think we had a little bit for Nomura. Nope, already got the best item. So I think Almus is just the last one here, which gives them some crit resistance. I believe that is it. We did complete a couple tasks here. So we can actually do, I think, one more full pull, hoping for some more red furniture here because we got the one piece for Taylene. We did get another piece. It is Taylene, and that's what I was talking about. Um, most of the time, I, I keep getting Taylene furniture, which we're going to have to prioritize building her because we, we've been getting a lot of Taylene furniture. So this time we'll go for Tassie or Namora, either one. So the attack is increased by 2%, health regeneration is increased. So that will actually go ahead and throw onto Tassie, which we might have to wait till her room's a little bit bigger. Nope, she's still got a little bit of room. So go ahead and pop that one in there, which gave her a little bit more dodge, which will definitely work. Like I said, she is our tank. We'll go ahead and pop that in there. And she does a lot of damage. Attack and health regeneration. I believe that will do it. So overall added a lot of stats through the, the Oak in. So now we'll go ahead and we'll get into the campaign push and see where we can make it. Like I said, 25-12 right now. So we do have a lot of room in the campaign. We gained some levels. Um, we gained not really much on the way of signature items. I don't think Solus we can even get any higher at this point. So just saving all of, of our mats right now to go ahead and level up. So again, 25-12, let's go ahead and get into the campaign. So here we are in 25-12, continuing this stage. This is where we were stuck last time because of the Brutus Savius combo. Very, very tough to deal with this team just because of the dodge ability. As you can see right here, we don't run a tank. We're actually not running Almus. Um, haven't used him for quite a bit, so we actually do have to wait out Brutus's shield, which with his roar negates dodge, which makes it very, very tough. 
Hopefully we can get this one down, which we do. The three girls get it done. Let's go ahead and check the damage here. Five million damage from Iran, even though he went down to Brutus' whirlwind like he usually does. If there's a roar and then a whirlwind, Brutus, or excuse me, Iran will die. So pulling in, look, four targets here. We got the little cannon in the back, which it looks like it's taken out Tassie. Very, very early heal there from Nemora, which helps a ton, as well as Solus's Floral Spectre is still up. So just absolutely raining onto all of the heroes here, as you can see, which is what makes Solus so, so powerful. If you can keep the Floral Spectre up, it does a lot of damage, and it is a distraction for the team that you're fighting. So here again, going with the pull, got four of the five heroes, which is perfect. We banish Shamira in the bottom, which works very, very well, just because not only is she not putting out additional damage, and there we got some CC from Tassie, but if she alts, a lot of times it'll burn down the team really quick. So even here, three million from Laika, seven million from Iran, and almost four from Solus at that point. So even here we pulled in, it looked like the entire team minus Silvana on the top, which Nomura's to the point she can actually survive when Silvana's on there. Floral Spectre's up in the top, as you can see, raining spores on all of the sleeping heroes here. Plus Naruba's charmed, so kind of mega, mega CC out of this team, which makes it very, very effective. Even here, looking at the damage, 10 million from Eron, almost five from Solus. Continuing on to 25-16, so this is, I believe, our next boss stage. Didn't pull in Lucius, but look at that. Shamira is banished. The rest of the heroes are right where we want to, right in the middle of Eron. Got a shield going up with a heal. Another banish there on Shamira into a sleep. And there is the Floral Spectre. And another banish. Gives us time to really take out the rest of the team. As you can see here, Thorn is powering up. But once we get to Shamira, she went through three banishes on that stage. Very easy to kill because she is the only hero left. So even 6 million, over 4 million from Solus, which is good. And almost 3.5 million there from, from uh, Laika, which again is very good. Here we got a couple more dwarves. So the dwarves we pull right in. We've got a banish, it looks like, on Kasos. Plus we have a charm. It looks like we were charmed. So my Namora was charmed by the enemy Namora. And again, with the Floral Spectre just raining spores all over the battlefield, which is the reason I absolutely love Solus. She does a lot of damage. Once I get her plus 30 signature item, she's going to do a lot more damage. Here we actually swapped Eron to the bottom, hoping to pull in Savius. Savius still absolutely destroys this team. We get an early heal there from Namor as well as some CC right into a sleep. And that's really the only way to deal with Thane. He is very, very tough to deal with if he kind of starts getting ultimates off. Even there, almost even across the board for damage. But if Thane continues to get ultimates off, he does it very, very fast. So if you do have the ability to sleep him, to stun him, to charm him, anything you can do to actually CC Thane makes a very, very big difference. Other thing is if you look, the Floral Spectre is rooted on the other side. So not only did Arden's Root not affect one of our heroes, it hit the Floral Spectre. And the Floral Spectre is affected by Nomura's heals, which is good. So the shields and the heals from Nomura, which Solus did almost 6 million damage there, but the shield and the heals from Nomura heal the Floral Spectre as well, which again, if you can keep that up, does a lot more damage. Even there, it's starting to rain spores all over everyone. They're sleeping. As soon as the target goes down, the spores actually change who they're being rained down on. Floral Spectre died really fast on that one, but we still got the campaign stage done, which is all that counts. So we've been here 25-20, so this puts us one third of the way through the campaign stage into chapter 25. Hopefully we can push to chapter 26, because 26 is where we unlock some more of the Field of Stars. And again, Tassie with a perfect banish down to Belinda in the bottom. Another banish to Belinda, it make, making this Combination very, very easy because she is the last hero standing there, as you can see. Which is why Tassie falls into the S or S plus tier is the amount of CC that she offers. Not only the Slumber, but the Banish are very, very powerful. Even here, we got a Banish. It looks like right in the middle on Kaz. 
allowing us to build up energy and build up heals. And that was a kind of an interesting combination. If you notice, Namora actually had the flame shield because she CC'd uh, Morella on the enemy side. So five million there from Iran, bringing us to 25-23. So let's go ahead and swap Iran back to the middle so we can pull in the Dreft. Not sure if we should have focused on the bottom, but look, the Dreft is banished, which is pretty cool. Um, got a nice heal there with a nice shield. Should be able to take out Warwick, especially because his defense is reduced. And it looks like, I think Pharrell got stuck in the sky. He was either charmed or something went on there. But Pharrell was stuck as he was coming down, I think maybe banished in the sky. Which brings us to 25-24, another boss stage. Pull in Arden and Namora should be very, very easy to get through as long as Iran does not get banished. When he gets banished, then the damage kind of shifts to Laika and Solus. Which even there, we got Pharrell, should be pretty easy to get down. And then Movis is another easy one that we take down. All right, so damage on this one, 3 million, 3 million, 3 million. So kind of even across the board. Which since the Whale Inn has been introduced, um, increasing the attack and the defense of some of the heroes, especially focusing on Iran. Um, increasing his survivability, which the hero we just got absolutely destroyed, if you've seen that one. And again, it is another combo with Brutus. Anytime that we're fighting Brutus, very, very tough. Even the Floral Spectres up here, just raining on everyone. And Brutus Whirlwind on the Spectre, which was very, very nice. That way we can keep the damage off our heroes. Let's hope we can take him down. Which the girls got it done again. All right, so the damage on this one, 11 million damage from Solus, which is exactly what we want to see. Bringing us to 25-26. Very, very tough team here. We have Brutus, we have Thane, we have Golus, we have Savius, and we have Sophia. So our first defeat as we just get absolutely destroyed from this team. As you can see, Thane is banished. A little bit of CC there, which we should be able to get Savius down which we did. Here comes Falling Sun to kill everyone, as always. So that is going to be another defeat. Very, very tough team. So let's swap. We'll swap right back to the middle. We're going to try this a, a couple more times. We'll even give it a go with Almas a couple times, see how we do. Um, as we're building more heroes, hopefully Soros in the future. So there we got absolutely destroyed again with that team comp. So we're pulling in four of the five targets, but it just seems like there's no way we can hold the line. All right, so that will do it for the while. There's 25-26. We did a couple runs with uh, Ole Miss on there. Didn't do any difference. Got some T1 stones there. We'll collect up our loot. So after about 20, 25 attempts on that stage, which we didn't show all the defeats, could not get it down. So let me know in the comments what you think. We're back with the faction teams and the Wilders really killing it. 25-26, so almost through it. And as always, thank you for watching.